Hi, my name is Pat Hooper. I'm with KRV Machinery, and today's video is all about shear blades. Uh, one of the questions we get in the field very often is, when is it time to replace my shear blades? And while there's no concrete answer, the answer to that is really that you ought to inspect your machine every morning before that shift starts and look at them to see if indeed what their physical appearance is. So we've brought some examples here of some well-worn blades and some brand new blades. And when we're talking about a shear like our H3000 or maybe H4100 guillotine shear, you'll start to see some pretty obvious problems with the blade. Here you'll notice about a, a quarter moon cutout. You'll see this edge is really dull and it's starting to actually push the steel over a little bit. If I wanted to cut myself on this, it would be very, very difficult because it's just not sharp. Probably if I looked at the, in the scrap bin next to this particular shear blade, I would most likely see bent pieces of bar where the very end, end was bent and it was also kind of pushed over or peened. And whenever you see that, that mushing or peening on the end of the rebar, it's a good indication that this blade is probably beginning to get dull. So this will not only uh, limit your capacity for shearing in some ways because it's putting a lot more pressure on the whole assembly, but you're not gonna get very clean cuts. One interesting stat is if you are shearing a single piece of number five bar, that requires a pressure of 18,500 pounds. So think about what that's doing to that entire assembly if you're trying to cut a whole conveyor full of these guys on a dull shear blade. So really important that we rotate these blades. Now over here, we've got a brand new blade. This is from an H3000 guillotine shear. But I'll tell you, I would not drag my thumb across that because it would absolutely cut it. So that's a nice sharp blade. There's no pushing over of the steel, there's no half moons on it, and that's going to make nice clean cuts, and it's not going to put much stress on that machine. When we get to the automatics, the shear blade maintenance is just of the utmost importance. If you don't change those shear blades on a regular basis, you are going to cause much more expensive repairs down the road. I have seen guys who run shear blades like, well these are brand new ones, but who run shear blades and automatics like this that are way past their prime. And that will actually cause stress on the shear arm housing and actually sometimes cause that shear arm to break. Now you're into a many thousands of dollars uh, sort of repair and you don't want to have that. Okay, here's an example of an old legacy machine, a 1016. And what we can see is here, this is the stationary blade. We've got the cutting edge here and you can see it's already kind of pocked. It's not sharp. At all. I could drag my fingers across this all day and never cut myself. Same machine, this is the movable blade that would slide across it. And you can see it's not very sharp back in here. It's actually got a groove across the bottom from all the steel wear over time. Same thing on the other blade. And this is a blade that's way past its prime. If you keep running this thing, you are going to break other things in that machine. Contrast that by a brand new blade. And you can see how crisp the, the cutting edge is. And you can see also on the uh, stationary blade, same thing, very crisp on the outside, very sharp. If I drag my finger hard, I could probably cut myself. But again, very, very big difference on these two blades, the way that they look. So brand new blade, old, worn out, overused blade. Stay away from this one. All right, here we have an example of a brand new shear blade. Uh, in this case, it's for a 1020 uh, servo form. Um, what we've got here is the stationary blade that you're probably quite familiar with. And you'll see the edges here are very crisp. There are no divots. The edge is clean and sharp. Uh, it's not peening over. There are, there's no damage to it. It looks great. In this case, we've got the movable blade. And again, you'll see the edges are very, very crisp on this. There are no half moons. There is no steel being pushed over. And this is gonna make a good, clean cut. If you rotate your shear blades as needed, uh, as early and often as possible, you will absolutely save wear and tear on your machine that will be much more expensive than replacing a shear blade down the road. I've seen shear arms break because they are not changing the uh, blades correctly, and that can come into multiple thousands of dollars in repair costs. So keep your blades fresh and clean. Please examine them before every shift. And if you see anything that's suspect, when in doubt, change it out. And now we would like to show you an example of some worn blades. And what you'll see uh, on these worn blades is that there is pitting. Uh, the edges are not sharp or clean. And often you'll see these partial sort of half moon or quarter moon cuts out. 
absolutely time to replace those. If you don't, you're gonna cause yourself more trouble and more downtime and more expense in the long run. Alrighty, well that concludes today's video on shear blades. Please visit the KRB Online Service Center at krbmachinery.com. Check our YouTube channel. We've got lots of maintenance and troubleshooting videos. And if you can't find what you need there, please contact our service department or your local sales representative. Thanks again for being a customer of KRB Machinery.